Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Virgo. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, you can ask me a question in the comment section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. All right, I scurried the crystal for you today, Virgo, and lots of images showed up in the crystal for you. So let me get my notebook out because I had to write them all down. Uh, the first image I saw within the crystal, it appeared at first as like a brown bear, but it wouldn't come in fully and it faded out very quickly. Now, a brown bear for, um, you know, some people it could symbolize strength and power and courage. But uh, for me, when I see a brown bear within a crystal or even a dream, it could symbolize like an, a hidden enemy that's going to like ambush attack. Um, you know, so take it how it resonates. It could be an enemy that perhaps you're not expecting. Uh, the next image that showed up after that was a brown buffalo. And a brown buffalo symbolizes abundance, strength, and prosperity. And the image after that was a herding dog that was laying in a grassy field. And, you know, dogs symbolize protection and loyalty. And, you know, I feel like it was like a protection of your abundance is what I felt there. And the next image I saw after that was a cow laying in the grass, a brown cow. And, you know, that cow symbolized the same thing as very much of the buffalo as prosperity and abundance. You know, good things coming your way. And after that, I saw in the field was a... Uh, or I should say before the cow showed up in the grassy field, you know, laying down, I saw cats, lots of cats. One was like an orange cat with stripes. And cats can symbolize a person who has like two faces, someone that smiles in your face and gossips behind your back. Um, cats could also symbolize um, independence and, you know, not caring about what other people think. You so, But the last image that showed up was a cow in a grassy field, which is abundance and prosperity. So, you know, I do see lots of blessings here coming your way with lots of abundance. All right. Let's get into your reading. Lots of cards came out for you today. The first card to come out for you was the temperance. So with the temperance being here, this is balance. You know, so there's some type of balance within your life. Next card out is Four of Wands. So there's prosperity and abundance here within the home with the Four of Wands. This is happiness. This is stability. Next card out is the Hermit card. You know, this is the sign of Virgo here. So with the Virgo, you know, you could be, you know, keeping to yourself, keeping to your family, you know, um, keeping your energy to yourself, you know, not allowing, you know, anyone outside of your circle, you know, to enter. This is, you know, meditation, peace, you know, self-reflection. Your body is a temple type energy. Next card out is judgment. God is casting judgment on someone. Someone treated you wrong here and they're receiving judgment. They're receiving karma as you're being blessed. Next card out is the King of Swords. So with the King of Swords energy being here, you had to be uh, in this position of authority and rank here with the King of Swords. You know, so you had to take a, a very uh, logical, a very powerful position of authority against something here. And that was clarified by the Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups being here, you know, there could have been someone in your past that, you know, you could have possibly thought was like a soulmate energy and they ended up not being and you had to, you know, be this King of Swords energy against this individual because the Two of Cups was paired up next to the Three of Cups in reverse. So with the Three of Cups being in reverse, this is like something that didn't work out. This is an unloyal energy. So, you know, this person could have possibly not have been a stable individual someone that you couldn't rely on someone that wasn't there for you and not you know and someone that was lacking a moral compass so you know you remove this person out of your life you know you're no longer dealing with that energy you have your own stability you have your own family and you know you're keeping you know your energy to yourself within your family next card out is the five of cups so that could have been hard for you at that time when you had to you know release this individual with the five of cups Next card out is the Four of Cups, but God blessed you here. So with the Four of Cups, while you were going through, you know, any type of difficulties, you know, God blessed you here, you know, with a new beginning here, as I see with the Four of Cups. And if this hasn't happened to you already, I do see it coming out for you in the cards. Uh, possibly this person could be in the Five of Cups energy where they're mourning over their loss of not having you within their lives. So if they didn't appreciate you then, you know, that's their loss now. 
next card out for you is the six of cups so this is someone from your past so this past person can be trying to return and you know trying to uh kind of ruin your stability here you know trying to cause you know some type of drama here with the six of cups is you know someone trying to come back from the past Next card out is the Queen of Swords, but once again, you're in the Swords energy. You're not putting up with this individual. You're not going to allow them to threaten you or your family or your stability or your happiness. So you're going to uh, remove this person out of your life. You're going to tell them, you know, where to go, basically. And with the Queen of Swords being here, you know, you're guarding your heart. You're protecting your family, and you're not allowing this person to use you. Next card out is the Knave of Swords. Yeah, this person is uh, spying on you. This person could be watching you. Uh, stalking your social media page, uh, asking about you, spying on you, you know, trying to find out more about you because you're in this prosperity, you're in this happiness, and they're trying to, you know, trying to come back and ruin it. But I don't see you allowing them to get a foothold. Yep, next card, I was the Ten of Cups. You have abundance, you have happiness, joy, and abundance overflowing here with the Ten of Club, Cups, excuse me. Next card out is two of coins. You're in this grounded earth energy. So beautiful. You know, this person is just trying to come back to disrupt things. You know, it's just like the devil trying to throw a wrench in something. But they're not going to be able to do that. You're happy and you're guarding your family. Next card out for you is wing one trust. So it's letting you know to trust God here. You know, to rely on God. Whenever things are difficult, know that God is going to pull you through it. Just like, you know, the birds don't worry about anything. You know, God provides all their needs for them. And so it's letting you know that God is very much with you and to trust in God. Next card out for you is the horsetail, higher self. So with the horsetail being here, you know, you're in this higher version of yourself right now. You're no longer in the energy of where this person uh, made you feel a certain way. You're no longer in that energy. You're in your higher self. You're very much connected to the spiritual realm. Um, you're not allowing this individual to, you know, disrupt all your spiritual growth here with the higher self card. Uh, the horsetail card coming out, you know, the medicinal benefits of this um uh, this plan is a lot. So uh, the horsetail is associated with the crystals. You know, they're very much connected to the quartz crystal and, you know, into, you know, third eye being opened because on a microscopic level, you know, the quartz crystal and the horsetail are you know, very much similar in their makeup. So with the medicinal benefits of the horsetail, it can help you with your, you know, it's a good mineral for your blood, your brain, it helps with collagen keeps your skin healthy and young um it helps your urinary tract system um it has like helps with passive bleeding ulcers you know like the list can go on and on on what this uh plant can do and it's worth looking into so you know right now you're in your you're in your higher self and if you are not with your soulmate right now i do feel like you will be with your soulmate and whatever heartbreak that this individual caused you know that it's going to be flipped where you're going to be in happiness, you're going to be in joy with your soulmate and your family and your abundance. And this person is going to get their karma. They're going to feel the loss of what they did to you. Every hurt that they did to your heart, they're going to feel it 10 times worse. And you're going to be getting your 10 of cups and your blessings here. So, you know, all in all, Virgo, a very good reading for you. All right. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.